friends welcome back to our table i hope y'all are doing good i know it's hard but you just gotta hang in there and stay positive <clears throat> so <laughs> trump threw a temper tantrum and decided he wasn't going to ask answer any questions which made that whole thing really short, simple. <laughs> I personally think the man's in trouble. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on with President Trump. What is going on with President Trump? What's going on? with President Trump. What's going on with President Trump? <clears throat> what is going on with President Trump? I don't know about y'all, but I think it's better if he just, he just needs to stay out of them, you know. <laughs> he just needs to let the experts talk. It shouldn't be about him, but he makes everything about him. So let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're upside down. Mm -hmm. I think his luck has run out, y'all. Yeah, I think his luck has run out. That's what it feels like. Feels like his luck has run out. Let's see. Light my candle. Let it, um. So... think I like this reading. So the first card we have the lover which is someone who will promise you everything deliver nothing when he gets what he wants he leaves and he's false. So Trump's lies have caught up with him. Now this is cheerfulness. I think everybody kind of knows and feels that this is this is it there's there's he, he just, there's nothing else now <clears throat> this is the letter card and as i always say about the letter it's personal it's something directly to you you think of a letter it has your name your address it's very personal it's to you so he was given this message that he had been very fortunate, but now there's nothing but sorrow. <laughs> and everybody's losing hope. And the Malady, he is um, Part of this that's going on, y'all, like the, the disinfectant thing that he did yesterday, which is what's really gotten him where he's at now here, which is the end for him, by the way, is because he's not right in the mind. He's not right. I've been telling y'all this. This is just my opinion for entertainment purposes, only my opinion on what I get from the cards. I have been telling y'all for a long time, he's not right up here. Okay. When he started talking about injecting people with disinfectant to kill the virus, everybody knew. 
I mean, it's not even about, you can't even say, isn't he smart enough to know better than that? The point is, everybody knew then, he's not right, he's ill, everybody sees it, his poll numbers are going down, and they're, they're done. They're done with him, and it's because of illness. Faithfulness. So this is going to be his loyal VP, Pence, who is telling him, you need to go. You're going to have to go. Everything is interfering. It's costing too much. You need to go. This is the doctor card. This is a little bit of sickness and a whole lot of bad news. And I believe, as I told y'all before, that it is Pence telling him he needs to resign or he will do the 25th Amendment. You got Trump's size. And then you've got the wedding, which is a group of people or a celebration. It's both. It'll be a group of people, but it'll also be a celebration because this is what people are waiting for. The problem is, it's not just that Trump is sick, and this is what nobody thought about or counted on, was when he's up there every day for hours just talking, he comes out with stupid stuff like, what about injecting them with disinfectant? to kill. I mean, it, because it's a matter of time before that sickness, something comes out of his mouth that doesn't make any sense and should never come out of anybody's mouth. Injecting anybody with disinfectant is no, no. So it was a matter of time before he was there so much that now everybody sees. It's out in the open. There's nothing for them to cover up anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's, you, there's no need to cover up anymore. You can't say that a 70-something-year-old man doesn't know better than to talk about injecting people with disinfectant. He does. But if you have dementia and your brain isn't right, you don't. You just say it. It just comes out of your mouth. Just come out of his mouth friend so really they're trying to be a friend to him again I'm gonna go back to remember what I said before my timing may be wrong but everything else is right y'all it's gonna be Pence who is going to end up telling him I have the votes to remove you with the 25th amendment but they would prefer he resign because that's the friendliest way to do it but if he doesn't resign they will remove him. They can't keep him on anymore. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, by the way, I was right about the Coralquin, hydroxy Coralquin drug. Remember when I read on that, I said it'll kill people? Well, unfortunately, that's what they came out and said too, so that's good we we're just about done y'all it's 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 about a, over just just hang in there and don't worry about a date or a time it is just about over now somebody wanted me to read on stacy abrams again i did read on stacy abrams it's been a while back and i got no she wasn't going to be his vp <clears throat> but i said i will read on it later because a lot of times when you get closer to it, you'll get more of the, the true accuracy of what's going on. So, let's... <clears throat> well, Joe Biden picked Stacey Abrams for his vice president. Will Joe Biden pick Stacey Abrams for his vice president? Will Joe Biden pick Stacey Abrams for his vice president? And again, this is for entertainment purposes only, and it's just my opinion and nothing more. 
All right, let's see. Um, there is hope that he will. Um, this is the reunion card. This is usually going back to something, but it's reverse. So this may be looking forward to something. Um, misfortune. Biden's afraid... Biden's afraid of making the wrong choice or the wrong decision. He's afraid of making the wrong decision. Um, <clears throat> this is the priest. It also came up reversed. So I don't think it's much as a hope and a prayer as it is just please let me make the right choice. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, please let me make the right choice. And I'll turn that back up. Also need to turn that back up. Now, this is usually clowning around. But it was also upside down. So, he's, he's taking the pick there. It's not telling me if it's going to be her. But it's telling me he's taking it very seriously. So let me let me check and ask Stacy Abrams if she's gonna be Biden's vice president instead of asking Biden. Stacy Abrams, are you gonna be Biden's vice president? Stacy Abrams, are you gonna be Biden's vice president? Stacey Abrams, are you going to be Biden's vice president? Stacey Abrams. Um, well, mm -hmm. hmm. Um, she's consistent, and that's a good thing. She's faithful and loyal, and that's a good thing. She services the people. Enemy. This feels like it has something to do with the election in Georgia. I'm wondering, y'all. I'm wondering if that doesn't get reversed and she actually takes her spot there. And maybe this is why she keeps hanging that we can't figure out if she's going to be or not. But he could still choose her regardless. But anyway, the enemy, it feels like the Republicans and not necessarily Biden or anything, because then you've got Lord. Well, that is the high pos highest position. So vice president isn't the highest position because it's under president, but it would be the highest she could get because that's all she can do right now is run for vice president. So this looks good to me and makes me think, yes, there is this past thing with Georgia and I think Biden is just uh, going through his mind just you know make sure I do the right thing I just need to do that seems to be all he's concerned about but from her cards I would say this was a yes which is different from the the prior reading that I did where I didn't think she would be so I'm leaning more toward her I can't say definitely yes, well, one, because things will change. But two, I didn't get a direct answer from Biden. This was from her cards where I'm feeling like, but I didn't get. So 
I'm leaning toward her. I would say definitely a possibility. I'm not. Um, and we'll just we'll just keep checking. <laughs> we'll do it again. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get a message card. <sighs> okay. So. Okay. The Three of Swords. I see things exactly as they are. I see things exactly as they are. Okay. So, y'all, <laughs> my friends, um, as I've been saying, uh, Trump's days are numbered. He, he's not going to be here, y'all. He can't. He's, um, he's messed up. He, he can't. He's not going to continue. All of the poll numbers are dropping. All of the Republicans are behind and losing. And um, They can't continue to, to hold Trump up. And that's really what they've been doing. And, and eventually... It, you have to cut him loose. You know, you have to cut him loose. And I think that's what's coming. So I'll probably see y'all tomorrow night during my live. Um, I'm going to see if I can get Tanisha on. If not, it'll just be me. Um, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. So until the next time, friends. Thanks. Stay positive.